a group of pharmacy students at Rhodes University revealed through tests that there could be fecal contamination in residents' water tanks. So I found out that the tap water was still negative, the borehole water was still negative, but the rain uh, tank water was positive. Tabang and the other pharmacy students have been testing the water by making use of kits created by Dr. Roman Tandlich, a lecturer at the university. These tests are conducted after water from the tanks is poured into the kits and monitored over a 12-hour period. If the water in the tanks is contaminated, the water in the testing kits will turn black. So um, the, the tank water, the rain water, I don't think it's safe for you well in comparison to the tap water because the tap water has been tested by the municipality while the pharmacy students testing the tank water may say it's far from safe the head of a university's environmental office says that there are multiple factors to consider i'm aware that most of the tests are coming back positive i.e there is microbial activity i would say that bird droppings are very unlikely to be problematic you must bear in mind that when they um, defecate on the roof, it lies there and dries out. So while dried bird feces may be next to harmless in your drinking water, many students wrongly believe that all the tanks on campus are automatically fitted with a system to filter out unwanted waste material. So that filter system is not something that is automatically supplied. It is something that the user has to consciously choose and install. I'm not aware of very many tanks on campus with that filtering system. And I'm talking specifically about the filtering and sieving out of mess at the top of the tank before the water enters the tank. I'm very keen to see a move towards looking after our rainwater tanks on campus properly. For students and residences, it seems that there's no clear way forward. The university admits that only a small group of rainwater tanks have filtration systems, while the vast majority have nothing at all. No filtration system means that students could be drinking water that is contaminated by absolutely anything. Nick Anderson, RUTV, Grahamstown.